In this lesson, we will cover the validate function. In the previous few lessons, we saw how to uh, do the uh, validation for control. But in this uh, uh, tutorial, we will uh, do the error handling and we will uh, in the next video, we will see the validate. So we will do the error handling. So if something goes wrong on this server, we would try to handle it. <coughs> now, we will see the list. We will use the list student score. This list has ID. It has title, score, date of birth, country. We are concerned. We will use only the title and the scores. If you have watched my previous uh, lesson, you will see that I've used this list in the past, but we will use only the title column and the score. So let's put a restriction on the score. First, we will make it a number. Then we will, under more options, we will say a score should be between 0 and 100. Nobody can score 102 unless you score some bonus point, but on paper it's still 100, so you cannot score more than 100. So let's save this. Then we will uh, create our app, file new app. <coughs> Then we will make a connection, <coughs> connectors, SharePoint. We will pick our site, student score, connect. Then we will insert two text boxes. We will call it text input title. Another text box. <coughs> text inputs score. Then a button. We call it the save button. Now, <coughs> once uh, we we on, on the select, we'll do a patch. We will patch the student score. And then the values. Oh. So title colon text input title dot text then score colon value of text input score dot text now I will run this. I'll put my name. I will score 20. Save. Refresh. 20. I will try to score 200. Why? Because it's between 0 and hundred you might also see a red here but we want it to show on the screen so we will do the error handling this is important now we are doing error handling so there is a function errors okay so let's check for it if not is empty E M P T Y E R R O R errors in our student score.
notify we have covered notify else notify we'll have two notifies this one we don't need this now if there is not an if there is an error <coughs> so we'll notify error in saving notification type dot error and if there is no error successfully saved successfully saved notification type notification type information and we will show only for three, uh, three seconds <coughs> the error we want to keep it for long time save error in saving unless you close it will not be gone so let's make it 10 successfully saved and let's see 10 so we have seen error handling so now when we go here in the code after running, we will not see any error, any red sign for here. So the code looks good. The screen looks good. So basically what we did, we went to the score and we changed it to number with the values between 0 and 100. Okay. Then we came here. We first tried to do a patch without this. It will give error if it is, it will bring a red screen on the code. If there is no indication what happened. But here there is a complete indication. So is empty errors and then the, the record. This is the, this is the data connection name. This is the last patch. So whatever last patch was done, it will bring this for this and if it is not empty, then we'll say error in saving. Else, uh, we successfully save, save. Notification type error means it will, you know, it will have a different color information, different color information. We have given it only three seconds to stay and error will remain till we close it. So that's it for uh, error handling. We will do the next video of it uh, in the following video.